I'm very skeptical of people that don't think about killing themselves. <laughs> Do you know? It's such an option. <laughs> I, I, I think the real reason I want to kill myself is just to give my kids something interesting to write a stand-up show about. <laughs> be cute from heaven to see them squabbling over daddy's suicide. <laughs> I'm not going to kill myself. Well, I think I'm about as likely to kill myself as I am to get my own show on BBC One. <laughs> like, it's not going to happen. But no! It could! Good! Come on! <laughs> and I, I'm on the phone to Jessie and she goes, okay, well, just try and put things in perspective, okay? People are dying in Syria. Dying in Syria is just one of the many myriad things that isn't currently happening to me right now. You can't make me feel better by letting me know about the absence of what's going on. You can't go up to somebody at their mum's funeral and say, well, at least it's not also your dad's funeral. <laughs> You know, there are loads of bad things that aren't currently happening to me right now. I haven't just stubbed my toe. I'm not covered in arachnids. I'm not on a cruise. Everything's going really well. <laughs> the presence of something extremely boring is not negated by the absence of something extremely, extremely terrible. Ergo, I didn't enjoy Cars 2 <laughs> simply because it wasn't Keith Lemon's Celebrity Juice. <laughs> Anyway, I tell, I tell Jesse I'm sorry and I love her and that I'm a, a, a bad dickhead. And everything's gonna be fine. We have a very sweet, if weird, relationship for people who aren't meant to be together. And I just stand at the bus stop now, going, right, okay, let's fucking deal with all this time then, shall we? Standing there, I check for the bus, but it's not there because it's only been about 15 to 25 seconds. <laughs> you still look, don't you? Because it's what you do when you're at a bus stop. It's muscle memory. <laughs> you can't just look straight forward when you're at a bus stop. You look unhinged. <laughs> so, I trust it will come. <laughs> and just as I'm looking round to the right to see if the bus isn't there still, uh, I see this guy and he collapses. He doesn't collapse with any like forward momentum. He just drops like somebody let go of a marionette, flumped on the ground, crumpled. And this is my local bus stop my local area, my local, I see it every day, but I have no specific memory relating to time of it. It just fades into my everyday life. And as soon as you see something like this happen, but in an area that you're familiar with, your brain starts firing, going, woo, woo, we're making memories now, boy. Woo, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, huh? Huh, huh, better do something. He's just collapsed. Why are you still stood still? You still stood still, aren't you? Stand into motion, do some helping, come on, where are you? And I kind of go, okay, I will help, but I don't think we've quite exhausted the possibility of somebody who isn't me helping. <laughs>